All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna download and install the Visual Studio Code extension for Python. So there's a couple ways you can do that. In the previous video, I showed you briefly what we were gonna be talking about in this video. And so you can set up the environment from here and install it right from the marketplace or the easier way and the preferred way is inside of Visual Studio Code, they have customize tools and languages. So JavaScript, Python, Java, PHP, Azure, and Docker, and more. So let's click on Python. Okay. I'll hit OK. It says installing additional support for Python. Okay. So that should be installed now. Let's see here. And if it's not, we can check through our extensions, okay? So if I type in Python, and today it's taking its time, I don't know why, so I apologize for that. Uh, but you can see we've installed it, okay? So what this does, and I wanna show you some of the key features here, because this is important. So this is a Python extension for Visual Studio Code, and you'll notice that it shows right here, over there. Um, right now it's enabled, okay? So you can set up your environment, select your Python interpreter by clicking on the status bar, okay? And configure the debugger through the debug activity bar. So it'll show you an actual visual of how you can set this up. And then configure test by running the config test command. Okay, and then Jupyter Notebook Quick Start. Open and create a Jupyter Notebook file and start coding in our notebook editor. Okay, and we're gonna be using that in a later video when we download and install Anaconda. We will be integrating Jupyter Notebook. Okay, then useful commands. Okay. Uh, and then they show key features here. So IntelliSense, linting, get additional code analysis with PyLint, Flake 8, and more. Code formatting, debugging, testing, Jupyter Notebooks, uh, environment, and refactoring, okay? Supported lo locales, okay? Questions, issues, features, requests, and contribution, date, and telemetry, okay? So these are all different parts of the Python extension for Visual Studio Code. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.